That's unforgettable. And in the olden days of Wimbledon, when a woman won Wimbledon and a man won Wimbledon, they had the Wimbledon dance. And the winners got to select their favorite song, and Mom's song was Unforgettable by the great Nat King Cole. And that's how I think of Mom, was Unforgettable. Now let me ask you, how many of you know who Little Mo is? Do you all know who she is? Well, let me just give you a few sentences about Little Mo, that precious woman there with that sparkle that just lit up a room and a tennis court. Little Mo won Wimbledon three years in a row at 17, 18, and 19 years of age. And she was the first woman and the only American woman to have ever won the Grand Slam, which is winning the four major tournaments, Australian, French, Wimbledon and US Open in one calendar year and young men and women to put that into perspective only five players in all the history of tennis have won the Grand Slam and in the 1950s she was the third most publicized woman in the world at 16, 17 and 18 years old and Little Mo also had another title that I loved Little Mom and she was my mom but sadly, she died of cancer at 34 when I was 12. I want to ask you something. How many of you are 10? I know we have Holden and Harrison and Sophia. Oh, we got a lot of 10-year-olds. Well, when my mom was 10 years old, young men and women, she said something. She said, I want to be the best tennis player in the world. At 10 years old, that's young, but she knew at 10 that she wanted to be the best. Now... Y'all are the best. You're the best 8, 9, 10, and 11-year-olds right now. And your parents, and I know, and all of this, this, these esteemed men and women sitting over here that run tennis know it's because you work hard and you practice and you sacrifice. And that's really important. And we applaud that. And your parents applaud that. And your coaches applaud that. But young men and women, there are a few other things that are also important about being the best. Yes, you can be the best tennis player, but if you just walk off the court with a trophy and you lack a few other things, my mom, if she was standing right here, would say, you're not the champion. Because there are other things that make young men and women, young boys and girls, champions. And the first is great sportsmanship. You know, mom never lost a match her last year of competitive play. Have any of you not lost a match this last year? Good job, and you keep working hard. <laughs> but my mom, and that included Wimbledon and US Open and all the big tournaments, she did not lose a match the last year she played tennis. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? But you know, sometimes she did lose before that last year. And you know what happened? Instead of taking her racket and just slamming on the tennis court or throwing it on the tennis court or getting mad at her, at uh, the umpires, or making excuses. Oh, I didn't feel good today. You know what she did? She said the other players play better. And you know what she did, young boys and girls? She went back to San Diego and she practiced. And she practiced that forehand and that backhand that it kind of let her down. And you know what? She got better. And she used her defeat as a way to get better. And that's how she became number one in the world. But she never made excuses. So young men and women, if you lose, pick that chin up off your chest and say to your opponent, you play better and in your mind go home and practice. So be a good sport because that's what little Mo was. She was known as a great sport. Secondly, 
very importantly, she gave back to the sport of tennis. You know, young men and women, the Maureen Conley Brigger Tennis Foundation is here because she wanted to give back to the sport of tennis. She wanted to help other young people like you be better. So young men and women, I want you to know people are watching you. There are people, because you're role models, that are watching you, whether you're 8, 9, or 10, 11. So you are a role model. And if there are younger players that need some help, help them. Give back to this sport of tennis that has meant so much to you and brought you here because that's what little Mo did. She took her love for tennis, saw the Maureen Conley Brinker Tennis Foundation, and has this great tournament. And finally, finally, young men and women, I want you to look around when you get off this court, and I want you to go, and I want you to hug your parents and tell them thank you. I want you to hug your coaches and your siblings and tell them thank you because you know what? You're not here by yourself. There are people who have sacrificed to make you great. Your families are here this weekend. I'm here this weekend. I'm missing a, something of my son's tonight. But I wanted to be here because it means so much to me because of that legacy of that precious woman. It meant something to me to sacrifice to tell you all how special you are. And lined up all around here are your parents and umpires and your coaches who have given up their time to be here because they know you're special. So I would like for you, when you get up, to go tell your parents thank you, to go tell your brothers and sisters, because I see a lot of siblings here that are spending their weekend with you, tell them thank you. And tell your coaches thank you for believing in you. Young men and women, we're watching the future stars, but all of you are great. And we're so proud of you. You represent yourself, you represent your great families, and you represent your state with honor, as little Mo did. Fight hard, work hard, and we are so proud of you because you all are champions. God bless you.